flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You and I listen to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I'm Narch Angel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties of motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about today, son being in cancer, by you being a sun sign Sagittarius. Now, off the bat, you're not catching no direct influence off the bat. You're not catching no direct energy. So it's like an in conjunction or it's just out of pocket, out of sign. So what happens there is that means you're not catching no light inferences. You're not catching no frequencies. It's, it's just passing you. Like even if even if the frequency just passed you and it was close enough to you, like an in conjunction, it just passed you. You may sometimes feel like you may need to do something different or try something different, but ultimately you don't. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, uh, as far as your actions, the way you act and how you see things, you're able to sit back and see other people stumble and fall based upon their actions or see other people uh, succeed and prosper based upon their action. And you have the ability to sit back and eat popcorn and able to add what you want to add and leave what you want to leave from these people's circumstances because you're not catching any direct influences that's making you directly need to do anything. So, for the most part, your son being a Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius? Mutable fire. Being able to adapt and change to its own or other people's ways of feeling and the um, and ways of seeing things. Of seeing the feelings, which ultimately is visual visualizations. So Sagittarius like to look at the broad perspective of visualizations. They like to they like to visualize from a broad perspective, from your point of view, this point of view, that point of view, and um, how can it all be brought together to have a single point of view? So off the bat, right right here with this being in Cancer, a lot of times when uh, Sagittarius. For you not to be getting no direct influences, a lot of times you're not going to feel any pressure to be you. So a lot of your actions and the way you act and how you see things is going to be trying to add meaning and reason into things. And a lot of times you're going to come across as preachy to others right now because a lot of people, a lot of times people are dealing with their emotional stance on things. They're dealing with home situations, family matters, private issues, how to gain emotional stability amongst themselves. And when you come around trying to add meaning and reason into shit, a lot of times that don't even deal, that doesn't deal, that doesn't dive too deep into the emotions of things. But it, it but it gives you a feeling because you know fire and water are the fillers. So it kind of gives you a feeling. And what happens here is, see, Sagittarius are selfless when it comes to expressions of feelings. You, you know when Aries, you know when Aries are, um, you know when Aries are selfish. Um, they only think about themselves and they don't care to think about somebody else or to think about if someone else care about what they're doing. You know, Leo are self-centered. They only care about the, they only care about what they're doing, but they actually care about if other people know what they're doing. And uh, Sagittarius is selfless. Sagittarius will actually support you to do what you do, but they actually need you to support them to do what they do. And a lot of times, the best way you can support a Sagittarius is letting them do it by themselves. So you know what I'm saying? So what happens here is. A lot, uh, a lot of your actions and how you do things is not going to be protocol towards the uh, sun being in Cancer right now. Now the sun is going to understand the sun going to understand meaning and reasoning because Jupiter likes to be in Cancer, like like a kid like to be at Disneyland. Jupiter is exalted in Cancer, so off the bat Jupiter get get to add meaning and reasoning to all the things it wants to add meaning and reasoning to when it's not at home in Pisces or Jupiter. You know what I'm saying? So the stuff that's that really is meaning and reason to your life, Jupiter in in in, in Cancer is more like. Jupiter going somewhere else and being able to add all the meaning and reason and philosophical point of views and spirituality to all these things that I always wanted to be in front of instead of just being at home a lot of times and getting bored sometimes or getting up and getting off your ass sometimes. So a lot of times when we want to talk about the expression of adding meaning and reason to the emotions and feelings, yeah, that's going to be cool. But the moment you start trying to philosophize it or uh, spiritualize it, um, you're going to come across as preachy. Even if you're not in religion, and a lot of people, pe a lot of times, people don't want to get talked, they don't want to get wisdom out of their feelings, see, see, uh, out of their emotions. You see what I'm saying? Like you get what I'm saying? It's like you're gonna, you're gonna experience a lot of people right now who, they know they're going through a bad time and they just feel like expressing it. But the moment somebody come around and give them like the common thing to do to not feel like that no more, they reject it. They don't want to actually do it. They want to be like, oh, nah, because they want to stay stuck in their feeling. So if you're not actually concerning or uh, actually showing concernment or discernment, Sagittarius is going to get more preachy-like and want to want to kind of philosophize or add meaning or reason into why the circumstances is going on right now. And people don't really want to hear that right now either. People want to feel the way they feel and emotionalize their emotional stance that they've been emotionally... Um, connected to. So if it's an anger or, or or they feel like they need to get revenge on someone or they feel like they need to um, 
overvalue someone or appreciate someone or to tell someone they they love them a lot of times the, the, the emotion and the feeling behind it is what's being seen first but when it comes to you that that's like a piece of vulnerability to you so you rather show like a situation where you you rather show like a situation where you can kind of give wisdom to the circumstance for no one can feel like they feel but right now you can't change the way someone feel right now ba using that uh, analogy right now so you can just sit back and just look at a person stumble and fall listen so so discernment add discernment add concernment concern to to your actions the way you act and kind of slide off the little preachiness a little bit and just act more relativeness this way this will keep you out of line of fire of people gaining emotional stances am amongst you and try to say oh you this way even when you really not when you were just trying to help and then, and then that way and they still feel like you're concerned about what they're going through you emotionalizing with them so you know what I'm saying that's that's just the part when it comes to the Sun now when it gets to the moon the moon is in cancer but the moon is in 20 28 rules in 28 uh, 28 degrees cancer now from when I from when I was doing um, I started I started this thing part like two hours ago or something like that so two hours ago it was in uh, 27 degrees so right now it's in 28 degrees um, so uh, let's see seven around eight nine o'clock um, yeah, around 8 or 9 o'clock, the moon going to be sliding into Leo. So right now, you're feeling real cuspy right now. Real, 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 real cuspy right now. So as far as the energetic field, as a Sagittarius, um, like I said, you, you're, not gonna, you're not catching any direct influences. But you you about to start catching line of inferences from, um, from, your, from Leo, from your fellow, your fellow element. Because here, when the moon... The moon is get the moon is getting ready to go into um, Leo. So with this cuss energy right now, a lot of times you, it's like I said, you ain't catching no direct influence. So your actions, the way you act, and how you see things, it's pretty much it's pretty much whatever reaction you get from what you do. That's the reaction you get. It wasn't something that you was going to get that reaction, or you wasn't going to get that reaction. Whatever you choose to do, whatever reaction you get, that's the reaction you was going to get. You see what I'm saying? And without without the person that's reacting to you taking any more heavy influence from it. You know what I'm saying? They're not going home thinking about what you did. They're not going home thinking about what you said. You see what I'm saying? You're not catching no direct influences. But when the, when the moon slide in about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight and, and tomorrow, um, when the moon is in Leo, what happens here is it's still, you're going to still, still feel some of that cusp energy, but you're going to start being able to see your gift off also. And one of your gifts that you're going to be able to have is, is able to see the emotional stance and the emotional response on people before they actually react. So that's, that's a lot of times because Anytime the sun trine, the moon, or you know what I'm saying, or sextile, more the trine. The trine is going to create gifts. Like me, I'm a trine. My sun and my moon and rising is a trine. But when we say sun and moon, that just means I, I, I feel comfortable with my actions. And the way I act make me feel comfortable with myself, whether other people agree with it or not. So when, it, when it's coming in that you are Sagittarius, right? And, to, and when, to, when today's moon slide into Leo, uh, you're going to feel comfortable about a lot of actions that you take. But you're still going to be slid off a little bit because you're going to start to feel like you're still not supposed to show concern. Still not supposed to show uh, discernment. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get too preachy and you're not showing you can even relate to someone's situation that they're going through right now, it could put you in a very bad place to the point that you're going to want to be by yourself and people are not going to be want to want to be around you. And that's that's a bad thing. That's, that's a bad thing addition for Sagittarius because the Sagittarius wants to be by themselves but they don't necessarily want others to feel like they don't want to fuck with them they want to be able to dive in with these social groups whenever they please and not have no type of cage or something or no kind of obligations to it you see what I'm saying but when you come when the Sagittarius come across a situation that they don't want to be around but also the people that they don't want to be around don't want this person to be around Sagittarius is going to wonder and try to come up with some type of meaning or reasoning why is this situation like that you see what I'm saying? And you're going to deal with a lot of those, uh, you're going to deal with a lot of circumstances if you kind of go overboard with your preaching without showing concern and meaning and reasoning once the, um, once the, the moon goes into the Leo. Like right now, for as far as today until 8 and 9 o'clock, you kind of still have that remembrance. But I'm going to let you know, you're going to feel absolutely free. You're going to feel super free inside once that moon going to Leo. So try not to express everything you want to act on. Try not to express everything you see with your sun. Try not to emotionally with your moon, I mean with today's moon, express everything everything you emotionally connect to with, with the sun aspect. Because what happens here is it's going to put you in a weird, tricky situation to the point that you're going to feel and think that you're right. 
and you and, and a lot of times you're not. You see what I'm saying? So you have to understand that. But for the most part, with the moon, you're gonna have that gift of seeing a person's emotions and feelings on the outside, and it's gonna be up to you whether you choose to use this gift to indulge into this person or not. Now, um, as far as Mercury, Mercury is how you think, communicate, analyze. And it's in Cancer. So right now, like you just like I said, you just have to add a little bit more concern, add a little bit more care, like care for something. Like Sagittarius can have a, a tendency of not caring about shit. Like not even caring about them damn selves. They, they won't even care about themselves enough to present themselves in a way to someone that they want to be seen. They rather come up with new kind of ways, almost like Scorpio. They rather come up come up with new kind of ways and new actions to make you think of them the way they want you to think of them. When really all they had to do was take the point A to point B actions and a person would look at you like that. But see Sagittarius is the also Scorpios. They don't also they don't necessarily think like that all the time. But for the most part, like right now, uh with Sagittarius just add a little bit more concern for someone for someone else's uh wisdom, someone else's knowledge. Even if you know they they educational level or they wisdom knowledge, they don't have a lot of wisdom. Take consideration to what they have wisdom on. Because that may be a frequency that you left long time ago, but there's certain there's certain ideas in that frequency that you may be needed to be re reminded. You may you may need to be reminded for. Because those same little instances in that in that roof of wisdom knowledge that whoever you're talking to have that little simple concept out of that structure may be something you need for your broad for your broad perspective of things if you if you get what i'm trying to say if you're a sagittarius you know what i'm trying to say you know what i'm saying so, sometimes it'd be like you might be listening to somebody who you already know they wisdom they don't have wisdom but they talk like they have wisdom right and then you might disregard it you might let it go in one ear and out the other don't do that with cancer being in mercury right now Take concern to that. Actually make them feel like what they're talking about is right because that might be the path that they're on to get from point A to point B. But also that wisdom roof that they're under. It may be certain rooms and shit in that house that you need to be reminded about to take back up to the big estate mansion that these minds, Sagittarius is be having. You know what I'm saying? You may need to take it. I, it you might know how to clean a Pacific room better by learning a lesser wisdom roof idea. You see what I'm saying? You have to understand, you can't be too naive or or too out there or too not wanting to be caged in to, to receive some type of wisdom and knowledge from someone else, you know what I'm saying? So you have to understand that. But for the most part, uh when the moon going to Leo, it's, it's gonna be all kinda it's gonna be haywire because you're gonna feel the first thing you think about, you're gonna feel comfortable with expressing that. And and cancer st being nine degrees um, into Mercury right now. Well, Mercury being nine degrees in a Cancer right now is telling you that it's going to reinforce. Anytime you do that, it's going it's going to sit you back down by a person, place, or thing, and it's going to reinforce that you sit here and add concern for another person's wisdom wisdom level, regardless of where their wisdom level is at. Now, Venus. Venus is in Taurus. So you're not catching no direct influences from here. So you can sit back and watch people relationships go up and down. You can watch people overindulge, mess up all their money. You can watch people uh, how they appreciate and value and sit back and know what to add and know what to let go. You see what I'm saying? Now Mars, Mars is in Cancer also. So you're also not catching a direct influence. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's all like in conjunctions and shit. You know what I'm saying? So with with Taurus. Okay, yeah. Okay, now with Venus being in Taurus, uh, just learn how to add some more practicality to the way you love. But if you're not in a relationship or nothing right now, you can just look, witness to other people and do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But Mars, Mars is in Cancer. Mars is in Cancer. So how you, uh, your intentions? Well, the way you act and how you see things off the bat, you need to learn. You need to. Um, apply some emotional stuff. Well, you really don't really need to learn. You can sit back and watch other people stumble and fall because it's not a square. So it's it's not like what you're doing is wrong or right. It's just what you're doing is what you're doing. It's not directly influenced. So people not focusing on what you're doing wrong or right right now. People not it's it's not like that right now. So right now it's able you're able to just sit back and learn and and pick up where you may feel like you're lacking with yourself. Learn something and where you feel like you may need to set aside to yourself. Put it aside due to the people, places, and things that's led as examples in your life right now. But for the most part, like, you know, you ain't really got that much to worry about right there. Now, when it comes into um, 
Jupiter. Jupiter is in Libra, so this is a sextile right here. So you're going to win. There's all kind of opportunities for you to express your wisdom, your knowledge, your meaning and reason into things, your passion, uh, you know what I'm saying, and how you feel, how you see things. You're, you're able to, you're going to win. There's all kind of opportunities to be able to show that in, in people's experiences because Jupiter brings experiences and it brings wisdom and knowledge. So with Jupiter being in Libra, the experiences it's going to bring is going to bring experiences due to miscommunication, misanalyzing, or misthinking about things. But that's going to bring a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Now, with, with your sun sign being a Sagittarius and sextile in that, what's going, to ha what's going to happen is you're going to witness opportunities. Now, look, Jupiter and Libra, you're going to experience. But you're experiencing with others or you're experiencing in a balance to experiencing something else in your life. So, with Jupiter, sextile, anytime it's a sextile, that's an opportunity. So, with your Sagittarius sun sextile in today's Jupiter, and Jupiter rules Sagittarius, what happens here is you're going to witness all kind of opportunities to express your wisdom and your meaning and reasoning level in the experiences that people are experiencing. So, people are going to be coming to you for advice. People are going to be coming to you for what you and Libras. Coming to you for advice. Coming to you for wisdom. Coming to you for uh, to, to help them understand spiritually what's actually going on and you're going to be able to give your wisdom and knowledge within these experiences and within these experiences you experience it also and you're receiving wisdom and knowledge at the same time you see what i'm saying so that's the opportunities you're going to receive so as a sun sign sagittarius it's important for you to make sure you act positively and see things in a positive light because you're going to want to the experiences that you're going to experience, you're going to, you're going to want to make sure that's a positive experience and not an experience that was brought to you by others. Because that's, a, that's another thing that may, that's going to happen right now with uh, Jupiter being a Libra. All these experiences in your life may be brought to you from a person, place, or thing. You may not have any, nothing to do with it. And here you go experiencing some shit because somebody else. So you know what I'm saying? And then that's going to be another opportunity for your Sagittarius son to go ahead and give wisdom and knowledge or meaning and reasoning to why the fuck y'all in this experience in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be all kind of opportunities. It's just up to you to make sure you're in the right one. And by you not even getting directly hit by all these other influences, really you don't know. Really you're just going with the flow. You going with the flow with Gemini's. You going with the flow with uh with 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 Gemini's, Leos. You going with the flow with uh Aquariuses. Y'all niggas is going with the flow right now. You see what I'm saying? And it's it's almost like it's almost like you you could stumble and fall right now, most definitely, but it won't even be seen to anybody else as a detriment. Or you could, and vice versa, you can prosper and succeed right now. But people are not looking at it like they need to take from you to succeed. You see, you, it's like you out of pocket right now. So it don't matter what you do. What's going to happen is, is just based upon your law of attraction right now. But you're not catching no direct in influences from the planetary law of attractions. But this one you is. So this is going to be the opportunities you're in. You're going you're gonna to be experiencing shit with other people. But the experiences that you experience, is, it's time for you to set your wisdom and, and, and law down. So if you're doing something you know deep down you shouldn't be doing, if you don't get about that shit, you deserve everything that's coming to you because Jupiter is rule you. And it's sex talent giving you opportunities in Libra. So, man, take that shit. Start, start peeping out and, and add meaning and reason to the people, places, and things in your motherfucking life. So you don't be experiencing some shit based upon somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? We want to experience shit that we want to experience, not based upon somebody else. Somebody call you and be like, hey, man, come with me. You walk up the street, this person... Trying to get into a fight. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you make sure you use that wisdom, Sagittarius, to know that to experience that that dumbass relativeness experience that whatever that tried to put you in. And then Sagittarius, uh, and then Sagittarius uh, motherfucking con uh, conjunct Saturn. Well, Saturn is in Sagittarius right now. So off the back, you got the power of how to gain stability in your life. You got the power of how to construct in your life. So actually, whatever you do succeed and prosper at, people people are looking at that shit. People are looking at that shit. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, you know, the way you think, communicate. I mean, not think, but the way you practicalize and the way you receive and place boundaries and restrictions and limits. Place and receive. You know what I'm saying? They're in the right places. You know what I'm saying? They're they, they in spirituality. They're in, they're in broad philosophical point of views of the world. This is why a lot of people can't just be told anything right now. Because Saturn is in Sagittarius. And people are going to practicalize what they broadly see uh, and how they feel about things. So off the back, with your, with your son being a Sagittarius, you always did this your whole life. So it ain't, it ain't nothing new right now what you're doing to gain structure in your life right now. So what, what may have been weird uh, last year or something, whatever like that, is definitely not weird for you to be doing right now. 
and National Planetary Day reading, Sagittarius.